Okay, on this problem, it says a certain virus infects one in every 600 people. That's why I set this problem out like this. Here's the one person that has the virus, and here, this is the easiest way to do this problem. And here's the 599 people that don't have the virus, because here's the total of the 600 people we're talking about. So it's one and 600. That means 599 don't have the virus. So right off the bat, you get this. Set it up like this. This is one of those problems that they don't show you the table. You're not going to get the problem though unless you make the table. So make the table. Okay, continuing on, it says a test used to detect the virus in a person is positive 90% of the time if the person has the virus. Okay, that's actually this bit right here. Uh, it's po uh, positive 90% of the time if the person has the virus, means given the person has the virus. Okay, so that's actually what they're giving you here. Now, to get this spot right here, positive and virus, I'll write this here, to get the probability of positive and virus, we have to multiply the probability of virus times the probability of positive given virus. Well, the virus thing isn't really a probability. We have a numerical value for that for, as one. So we need to take one times this probability right here, 0.9. And that's what I have shown right here. So it's one times that 0.9. Because 90% uh, of these people uh, actually have the virus. So the probability of positive given virus is 90%. So out of these viruses, 90%, out of these people that have the virus, 90% of them will show a positive result. That's where that is. It's the same idea on the next bit. On the next bit, it says, and 10% of the time, okay, meaning that, uh, uh, let me read that sentence here again. A test used to detect the virus in a person is positive 90% of the time if the person has a virus, and it's positive 10% of the time if the person does not have the virus. So it's positive 10% of the time given the person does not have a virus. So we're down here in this. So I need to take this 10% times the 599. So right here, we take the 90% times the 1. That's 90%. Then we take the 10% times the 599, and you get your 59.9. Okay? Now you can fill in the rest of the table. Add these two together, and you'll get the total right here and do some subtraction to get these m missing blocks right here. If this is one and this is 90%, then this has to be 10%. If this is 599 and this is 59.9, just subtract and you'll get your 539.1. And then to get the remaining block, just add these two toge together and you get 539.2. So now that you have the table made up, you can answer the two parts of the problem. So part A, says, find the probability that a person has a virus given that they have tested positive. This is written this way right here. Find the probability that they have a virus given that they tested positive. If you're given that they tested positive, then it's out of the people that have tested positive. How many tested positive? 60.8. So this bottom is 60.8. And of these, how many of them have the virus? Not even a whole person, just 0.9. 0.9, that's the expected value, 0.9. Down here, and then I'll have to divide these, which I'll do in just a second. Down here, uh, on part B, it says, find the probability that a person does not have the virus given that they tested negative. Okay, if you're given that they tested negative, that's not positive. So that goes right here. That's this total column, 539.2. And how many of those don't have the virus? 539.1. See, this is a very, very high probability. You hope that if they tell you you don't test positive, you hope that you don't have the virus. It's good for, let's say it's a, a flu virus thing. You hope that when they tell you you don't have the flu, you really don't have the flu. It's a true negative. So you can just type those values in here. On the first one, it's 0.9 divided by 60.8. And that would be a true, uh, a true positive, which is very, very low. It's just like the breast cancer problem. This one's super low. The probability that you actually have the virus, when they tell you you do, is actually very low for this problem. And uh, this one is going to be very high. This is 539.1. 
divided by 539.2, 539.2. And you can see this is a super high probability. Like if they tell you you, have, uh, you don't have it, you, you probably don't. It's 99.98% sure about that. And we'll go ahead and submit this problem and hopefully we get the greens. Yay, so that's that problem.